Welcome to another Book Talk with Tracy. My name is Tracy Krause, and I am an author and a playwright and an artist, and uh, I try to do these book talks once a week, and uh, so I'm really glad that you joined me again today. Today I wanted to just kind of recap um, 2022. <laughs> it was a very interesting um, year for me as an author. Um, it was still productive, strangely, but uh, it was it was a year of a lot of ups and downs and changes which have made it challenging. Um, got a nice little tree behind me, but if I actually swung the camera around, you'd see, you know, sawhorses and boxes piled and tools and electrical equipment because I'm currently still living in a renovation zone. Um, so that was one challenge. Uh, my husband and I moved to a different house uh, before it was finished and we've been gradually trying to uh, make it livable. But it has been a challenge for me to find places to do these book talks that aren't either echoing because there's nothing in the room or um, where there's something of interest in the background. So I was glad actually to have this little tiny tree here. Um, <clears throat> on a personal level, it's been a very uh, great year as well. We had three little baby granddaughters born, um, twins, and another granddaughter born to us. Um, so our family has expanded, and there's just been a lot of exciting uh, things like that. In fact, now that COVID's over, I've been doing a lot more traveling, so it seems like I was doing a lot of that, going to writers' conferences and other uh, conventions and even just you know personal trips and things so it's been it's been a really uh, it's been a very busy year if I can put it that way and yet somehow um, I've managed to to get some publishing done too um, so as far as new work goes uh, Frayed Strands is an anthology or a collection of three novella length um, works and I was really happy to get that uh, published over the summer months, despite all the packing and moving. Um, and those are a really fun, a, a fun little series uh, based on characters from my Three Strand Chord series. So what I chose to do uh, was to write more about three characters who were minor characters in the other in the other books, um, Three Strand Chord, Blood Ties, and Tempest Tossed are those uh, the Three Strand Chord series, three books. But um, a couple of people appeared more than once. So Andy Coates was an FBI agent who was a friend, best friend, and also involved in some of the cases in um, the first, actually three books. I think he appeared three times. And uh, so I wrote his story, uh, a short novella called A Thread of Revenge. Um, for him. And then another character who I really liked, his name's Jeremy um, Lemming. He appeared in a couple of the um, books as well. And uh, he's a young First Nations man also with the FBI. So uh, I just felt he deserved more. And then the final one is a young man named Tyler Fletcher, who also appeared, I think, twice or three times. Anyways, they're all all characters who, you know, played an important role, but minor minor characters, supporting actors, if you will. And so I gave them their each short novella, and then I put those three together in, uh, in a book called Frayed Strands. So that's one of the projects that I managed to work on this year. Um, a couple of other kind of major things were um, I republished my book, My Mother the Man-Eater, um, it had originally been published in, in 2010 with um, Eloquent Books, and I subsequently received the rights back um, to that piece. And of course, when you get the rights back, um, I, I decided to republish it myself uh, with a refreshed cover and, you know, some updates. Um, things have changed in, in 12 years in, in terms of technology and things like that. But it's still basically the same story, which I love. It's about this um, woman in her early 40s, a bit of a cougar, um, who is who gets her validation from men from uh, because she is attractive and, you know, so... She's validated by younger men uh, being attracted to her and things like that. Always searching. Um, she does have five grown daughters. And of course, part of the, the, the setup of the book is that as she um, 
you know, pursues these various men, uh, they end up falling for one of her daughters instead. Um, there is quite a, a thread of um, intrigue as well because her ex-husband is uh, part of the mob. He's a drug dealer and so he starts threatening her and there's that sort of element of danger as well. So it's a really fun book. It's uh, quite a thick book actually. <laughs> so that was something uh, that took some time to have that republished and uh, and I'm really happy with the result. Um, actually, I had planned on getting that uh, made into an audiobook, and that was another thing that I was working on this year, but hopefully uh, that'll be on the table for next year. And actually, I have been approached about uh, movie rights for that book, so I'm not really sure where that's going to go, if that's, you know, real or, or not or if it's just you know one of those things that's going to come and go but um kind of exciting and i think it would make a fantastic movie or short uh, you know mini series on netflix or something like that so anyway um so that's another thing that i worked on this year and then i had a surprise um i also republished uh my book windover marshdale and its short sequel lone wolf uh, because the publisher, Astrea Press, um, who originally published both of those, was closing their doors. And I was kind of sad about that because I really liked uh, that particular publisher. Um, they were good to me. Um, it was nice to be part of a community. I think there was a, a 400 or 500 authors who who worked uh, with Astrea Press. And... Um, they were good to me over the years since that book was originally published in 2012, I believe, or 2014. 2012, Lone Wolf was in 2014. In any case, because I got the rights back to those as well, then it was suddenly, oh, I have to republish these. And of course, you know, you do want to check and make sure that everything is up to date. And if you, uh, if there are things that need to be um, updated or whatever, that was something. So I did have a, quite a busy year. Uh, I did enjoy reading as well i think it's um i love to read obviously if i think if you're a writer who you, of course you're going to be a reader as well and i did enjoy uh reading several books of course over the course of the year and i don't i didn't make a list but um one author that i really enjoy these days her uh, her name is g l robinson and if you like regency so think um, jane austen or bridgerton that kind of thing. Um, G. G. L. Robinson is a great is is great. She's funny. She's actually British, so she she I think is has an authentic <laughs> voice when it comes to that era. And um, I've enjoyed reading several of of her books uh, this year. Other favorites include April Gardner. I love, love, love her uh, series based in uh, historical series based in the Southern states. Um, around some First Nations um, community. Uh, so I have reread those. Um, you know, I always think if, if with my, my way of judging a book, if it's really good is if you want to read it again. And I have read um, many of her books more than once. Uh, another author who I really enjoy is Dana Pertola. And again, um, I love her Descended series. It's, um, it's Christian fiction, but it's, it has a supernatural element um, and just fantastic. She also has another one that uh, is from another world, sort of a fantasy type series. Again, excellent. So if you like that kind of thing, Dana Pertola, you can check her out. Um, Terry Todd is another author that I've enjoyed reading uh, this year, especially her historical, her fiction is based during the World War II era and uh, just fantastic. So those are three authors that you might uh, want to check out. I'm sure there's many more. Um, as I said, I, I should have written that down. <laughs> and as far as nonfiction goes, a great book was mind-blowing that I um, read recently was one called Five Navigators by Dana Mazuka. And it's based on Ephesians 4.11, talking about the five, um, five-fold ministry or the five, those five spiritual gifts. Um, just really enlightening and, and um, revelational, I guess you could say it in many ways. So that was another great read. Um, so that's kind of what I've been up to this past year. Um, 
I hope that you have enjoyed watching these book talks and I am looking forward to lots of new content in the new year. Uh, I hope to continue reading first chapters from several of my books and um, maybe some other, having some other authors uh, on and discussing their books. So stay tuned in 2023. For now, I'm going to say goodbye, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Season's Greetings, Happy New Year. Um, take care and God bless. This is Tracy Krause. Please check out my website, tracykrause.com, and I will see you again in the new year. Bye-bye for now.